A topic I'd like to look at today is looking at the importance of a child being happy or us looking at promoting the happiness of our children and not thriving or striving for their perfection. So let's have a good discussion about a happy but not perfect child. Welcome to Me with Margaret. Me stands for Motivate, Engage and Educate. We'll do this so that we can engage ourselves effectively on topics and subjects on this platform that can impact positively on the well-being of our families, on ourselves, on our, you know, in our jobs, our businesses, even as professionals with the families we work with. So if you are watching today, I want to welcome you and I'd like you to like, share and subscribe so that we can spread the joy. So a happy and not perfect child. I was facilitating one of the sessions for my project called My Child and Me. This is a project that we are doing with families, looking at mental health in young children. And we, were, and we do it with parents and see how they can support their children better. This is a focus of, posit of promoting positive well-being. And when, one, when the session was over, one of the parents said to me that in her role as a parent, she needed to be constantly reminded that it was more important for her child to be happy and not perfect. And I totally agree with her, and I'll tell you why. What does it really mean to have a happy but not perfect child? In order not to be misunderstood, I want to make it very clear that I am not encouraging laziness or passive parenting, but by choosing happiness over perfection, I would like to emphasize the need to put our children's mental well-being first. A happy child can go on to achieve success because of positive outlook towards life and relationships. On the other hand, an unhappy child can achieve perfection and yet not be successful in his or her professional, in his or her business, in their relationships, in their school, wherever they are, because he or she cannot give what they don't have. Sometimes the emotional state starts with the parents. Extensive research has established a link between a depressed mother and a troubled child. Parental depression actually seems to be the cause of behavioral problems in children. And this makes our parenting less than ideal. Happiness starts with you and I. And believe it or not, your happiness, my happiness, would likely transfer to our children. A study has even shown that happiness is more contagious than unhappiness. There is also another scenario where the child comes from a happy home but so much is expected from them. I believe this is more common and it's understandable. You want your child, you know, to come out on top, to do the best, to be the best in a class and in sports and in any other thing. Anything less makes you feel like a failure. Michelle Cambolis, a child and family therapist, says that perfectionism is an attempt to control circumstances and that makes children uncomfortable. A child unduly pressured to succeed can buckle under pressure and start acting out by just doing the opposite, choosing failure, playing truancy or getting into trouble. They could also aim for perfection but start having pent up emotional problems. Hmm. Depression, mental health issues, and so on. These are the things that they get up to and get into. One clinical psychologist, Simon Sherry, also notes that in some cases, children can internalize the pressure to be perfect from parents and society. 
So to help your child succeed, you should what? Praise effort, not perfection. Parents who overemphasize achievement are more likely to have kids with high levels of depression. And I'm sorry to say this, it is really true. Depression, anxiety, substance abuse, and this can be compared to other children that are not in this state. When you praise or when we praise our children for effort and hard work, it can lead to achievement. Then they want to keep engaging in that process. They are not diverted from the task of learning by you know, that concern with how, how smart they might be or might not look. It's about, yes, let me stick with this. Let me do this because it's going to come out good. It's important to teach children also to look at the bright side and show faith in them. These children are more able or more likely to succeed at school, at work and athletics. They are more healthier and they live longer. They end up more satisfied with their marriages and are less likely to deal with depression and anxiety. This is from research. Being empathetic is also important. Because when you relate to the child, you are able to help them identify what they are feeling and let them know that those feelings are okay, even though bad behavior is not. We must be able to strike a balance in our expectations with our children. We need to push them to succeed, but understand and help them when they are struggling. There's, I, in fact, I can't emphasize this enough. I'd like to leave you with this quote from Harold B. Lee. The most important work you and I will ever do will be within the walls of our own homes. So let's do that with our children. Let's focus on supporting them to be happy, not laying too much emphasis on them being perfect. Thank you for watching me with Margaret today. I look forward to having you another time. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.